friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome QR code scanner app using MIT App Inventor. Let's have a look at the demo. It doesn't just scan QR codes, it knows exactly what to do with them. If it detects a URL, it will instantly open the browser. If the code points to a location, it will launch Google Maps. Got a phone number in the QR code? It will open your phone's dialer. Or if there's an email address, the app will open your email client. And of course, if it's just text, the app will decode it and display the message. So let's begin. Open up MIT App Inventor, go to Projects, start a new project. Let's call it QR Code Scanner. Keep the toolkit default, very important, and then press OK. For screen ones, properties, make align horizontal and align vertical both center. From user interface, drag and drop a button onto the viewer, rename it to scan QR button, press OK, make font bold, font size 20, and then change the text to scan QR. Drag and drop a label from user interface below this button, rename it to Result, LBL, label, okay. Font bold, font size 20, and then remove all text from it, okay. From sensors, drag and drop a barcode scanner. And this is super important that in the properties of barcode scanner, you uncheck use external scanner. I'm going to close these tabs and then from connectivity, drag and drop and activity starter. Our screen design is done, so let's go to the block section. When the scan QR button is clicked, so get its click event, I am going to first of all empty my result labels so that I'm ready to receive the fresh decoded text, so empty it, and then click on the barcode scanner and get its procedure for doing the scan, so the do scan procedure. This event will trigger the after scan event of barcode scanner, so get that. Here we are going to interpret the result using multiple if blocks and use then the activity starter component to start relevant activities. So from control, get this if then else if then else block, the third one, and plug that in. Now click on this cog wheel and drag another else if and then one more. So we have one, two, three, four conditions and then this is an only else, okay? In the first if condition, we will check if the result returned after the scan contains the letters HTTP. If true, then we will open up the default web browser using it activity starter. So go to text and get this contains block. And here text is result. So hover over it and get that. And the piece is as I said to you before, HTTP, so get an empty text block and type in HTTP. Make sure that you use the exact spellings, okay? Now, if this is true and there is HTTP in the decoded scan, then we are going to open up the URL in the web browser. So for that, go to Activity Starter and get its First of all, action block, 
and we are going to set the action to a text block that says, and you have to be super careful while writing this down, Android dot intent dot action dot and in capitals V I E W. I cannot stress it enough that you have to write it in exactly the same way. Android dot intent dot action dot view. Then I'm going to right click on it and duplicate it. Remove this and change this to now data URI. And I am going to provide the result to it. So duplicate that. Okay. Again, right click, duplicate, plug that in, and now change this to activity package. This is not result. Just provide an empty text block here. And then I am going to start the activity by calling its procedure start activity. Okay. In the second else if, we are going to check if the result contains the words maps.google.com. In that case, this means it's a location. So we will open up the Google Maps. So right click, duplicate. Now change this to, again, spellings are very important, maps.google.com. So maps.google.com. Okay, and then actually I don't need it anymore. I can just duplicate it from here. So this is the same. This is also the same, the data URI. This I will have to change a bit. So just duplicate it and put it here. And now this is not an empty text log, the activity package. We are going to provide the exact Google Maps package and that we can do by writing this thing. Com dot Google dot Android dot apps dot maps. Now please pause the video so that you don't make any spelling mistake or you miss a word. Com dot Google dot Android dot apps dot maps. And then you call the activity. Okay, now the third else if. We will check if the result contains the words mail to colon. This means that the QR code points to an email address and we will open up the default email app. Okay, so again, right click, duplicate, and I'm going to check here for mail to colon. And I am going to right click, duplicate, plug this in, and I'm going to now change it to Android dot intent dot action and I'm going to change the view the word view in capital to now in capital send to okay and the data URI is the same I don't need to provide the activity package this time I just need to start the activity in the next else if we will check if the result is a number and the length of the result is also greater than or equal to seven. For example, if it is a number like three, four, five, it cannot be a four number. So we need to do a little bit of checking to see if it is a number. If it is a number, we will open up the phone's dialer. So for that, I am going to get from logic an AND block and here in the first slot, I'm going to check if it is a number. So from math, I can get this is number block and provided the result that it checks if it is a number the decoded text and then the second thing is the length of the result is greater than or equal to seven so for that i'm going to go to text and get the length block i need to get from maths the equal to block plug this in make this greater than or equal to duplicate this result get block and now plug it in and this is math number block which says 
seven. Okay, we are going to open up the phone's dialer, and for that, again, we need to provide an action. And here, the action instead of send to is now dial. Okay, and then we are going to do a little bit with the result to send to the phone dialer. So right click and duplicate, but instead of directly providing the result, I'm going to get a join from text and plug this in. And here I have an empty text block and I have to say that tell TEL colon. So this is the way the dialer expect the phone number. So TEL colon and then some digits, okay? And then I'm going to call activity starter. Okay, and lastly, in the else, we are going to assume that if it is not a URL, not a phone number, not a location or an email, we will just decode it as a text and show it in a result label. So for that, click on result label, get the set text block of result label, and then from text, get the join, and then an empty text block and we're going to say something like this that scan text colon space and then duplicate the get result block and plug that in. Now this app will run nicely for phone numbers that are just digits for example you know local numbers and have no brackets or dashes in them. To make your app ready to receive QR codes for numbers with brackets, spaces or dashes in it, we need to change this is number get result to something else. So I'm going to just take it out here and I'm going to quickly construct something in front of you and you have to do it the same way. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to separate this out and what I'm going to start with is that I'm going to remove all the dashes from this result. So how can I do that? If I go to text, I have this replace all block and I'm going to provide it the result which might have numbers, dashes, spaces or brackets in it and I'm going to provide it a segment which is actually a dash and I'm going to tell it that replace all dashes in this result with just an empty text block. So there's nothing in it. I have not made any changes in this replacement block. It is just an empty text block. I am going to provide this result, not this result, the result that we get after replacing all dashes from it to another replace all block. And now, I am going to remove all opening round brackets from it. So I can actually duplicate this, plug this in, and I'm going to replace the dash by an opening, sorry, round bracket, an opening one. And then this is the same, just an empty text block. So now we have gotten rid of dashes and we've gotten rid of opening round brackets. Again, get the replace all text block and now I am going to remove closing round brackets. Okay and lastly I am going to remove all spaces from it. So the same thing but here duplicate bring it in. Now this is super important. When I remove the bracket, I have absolutely nothing in it. Now press on the space bar key on your keyboard and provide a space in it. So there's a space in it. It is not completely empty. There's a space in it. And then the replacement is just an empty text block. No space, nothing in it. So this will, the last thing will get rid of all the spaces in it and now check if it is a number and now we go back to our number 
place and plug this entire thing in it. So have fun coding this app as it is done and testing it on different types of QR codes. Please like my video, share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the great projects that I've planned for you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.